Okay. Try this again. Several attempts at making a, a video. Um, what I have to start off with is just a, uh, an older Swiss movement that I um, am particularly fond of. I use that as just the base to build this on for my first attempt of building this on. So um, to start off with the 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 base plate um, for this module that I'm building, I have attached two uh, the the base movement with uh, two screws, one there and one there. Um, and this will be the 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 center the center shaft on which um, the minute hand is mounted. And on this um, arbor, then, I have uh, just friction fit a, a 22, 20 tooth gear. Um, I don't know how well any of this is going to show up until I watch the video myself, but um, this 20 tooth gear, um, like the minute hand, will rotate around once an hour and um, thereby driving everything else. Um, to this arrangement we add um, the internal gear that I cut that I spent so long figuring out how to do um, and it rides in the channel that I've cut on the base plate um, and rotates around. Um, so we have I can grab it. Then um, simple intermediate gear. And then uh, really the br the brains of the the um, the whole mechanism is is this gear here, which like the other two is is uh, on. In, in one respect, it's just a 20 tooth gear that is uh, goes around once an hour. On the back side, I have a 10 tooth gear, um, which then will drive um, the internal gear. 10, uh, 10 teeth here, and then 70 teeth on the internal gear. So, as this goes around once an hour, um, the the internal gear goes around one completes one complete circle uh, once every seven hours and then on the top um, the top side of that um, assembly I have just a a singular finger which um, will drive the sky disk and I'll describe that later here um, What I do is I mount another plate here that uh, serves several purposes. One of which is um, to hold the internal gear in place um, so it doesn't come out of its place uh, in the normal course of, of uh, operations. Um, as I assemble this you're going to have to excuse the times that I have to put things in place and get my fingers up by the the lens and it's gonna be kinda awkward at times but Okay. 
So just to quick demonstrate the how this works um, as the minute hand goes around, and I need to re uh, align this. So I'm, there we go. Um, so that's how that operates. I'm gonna now. Um, this finger on this wheel here I don't know how well you can see that but that finger then um, will engage uh, this star wheel um, which um, has 19 points to it so then for every one hour that this turns around it engages one tooth worth on the star wheel, thereby completing the 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 sky circuit going counterclockwise uh, once every 19 hours. So you've got the, the the internal gear which drives the clouds um, going around clockwise once every seven hours, and the sky going once every 19 hours. There's one thing I forgot to do here. Um, Put in a little tiny spring that is easily lost, but very important. Um, this this uh, steel piece here, I've made most of this out of brass. The steel piece there is to engage the star wheel um, so it doesn't go uh, backwards or somehow get jumbled in the mess here. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. That's just to add um, spring to this, so it um, keeps it engaged. Um, so we'll put that on. But what I um, what I did here, and you don't see this, but I have a little um, hole in the side that allows me to go and do this to it. And you'll see the reason why for that later, because there is um, this piece right here will uh, will get in the way of it completely engaging. So let's find that hole and go in. And there we go, and it falls in place. I've I've drawn a line on this just so um, you can see the motion. I'll demonstrate all that in a little bit here. And likewise, on the crystal, I've drawn another line on it. Um, the the sapphire cloud disc is held in place um, by three screws. I have one screw in place already, and we'll put a couple more in there to hold it in place. And um, There is, um, you may look at this and, and think, well, what's holding this all together? Actually, the, the cloud crystal is, is holding um, everything in place. Um, there is just enough clearance in there that the parts can move freely. Uh, the gears and the sky disc can move freely. Um, but there's they're confined enough that they don't come out of place and disengage uh, from what they're supposed to be doing so literally um, this sapphire crystal um, the cloud disc um, is holding everything together those three screws is holding almost everything together and I just put on a, a general generic um, minute hand so you can see the motion of things and we'll go about and so you can see the clouds going in clockwise manner and then uh, one jump an hour you'll see the the, the sky disk um, go one nineteenth of a turn I would have loved to um, geared that instead of doing the star wheel 
but it just um, wasn't practical. So there you go. Um, that's the function. That's how it's going to look like. Um, also, I wanted to show you, um, you know, your your seashore that you sent me, and the and the ocean is going to go something like this. Um, I don't know how exactly. It's uh, that's a detail that we're gonna start now that I've got this up and running, and it ran overnight beautifully. So now that we've got this up and running, I'm going to go in and start designing and, and looking at the, the waves and the wave action that you want to incorporate into this. But there you go. Um, it works. Glory hallelujah. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears and a little bit of money on your part to make this happen. But... Um, but it works. So there you go. Hope you enjoy. Um, we'll talk to you later.